in this part of the video I'm going to discuss how a bellow is made. How does it get this wonderful sound? Well, let's take it apart. Here's a bellow that has the topper off of it. You have this piece of wood right here that has to be positioned just right in order for you to get that sound. If that piece of wood is not adjusted just right, uh, you will not get that sound. Most of the time, when you blow into that hole, and I'm going to go ahead and blow into that hole now, if you don't get that sound, more than likely, this piece of wood is in the wrong position. Now, you'll have to uh, experiment where to position that piece of wood. In the uh, When you're working with an antique cuckoo clock, for example, you might get the uh, bellows with the clock and they might be in pieces. So you might have to reposition this piece of wood. I don't know if you ever put a piece of grass in, in between your thumbs and blow. You'll get a whistle. It's the same concept. And so we're going to break it down even further. Here's a cuckoo bellow that I sawed in half. As you can see, there's no holes inside where you think a hole would be. What happens is the bellow air comes through here, goes around that piece of wood that I told you has to be positioned just right, but the air comes around that piece of wood then goes through this chamber right here and then it blows back out and that's how you get that noise. Now this piece of wood here is for your different notes. In a cuckoo quail clock this piece of wood would be positioned closer to the top that way you get a uh, higher pitch noise. The lower it goes, the deeper the sound. Now you have a high note and a low note uh, bellow on a cuckoo clock. Typically, the high note bellow is on the right side of the clock as you're looking from the at the clock from the rear and that is the note that sounds first the low note lever would be that piece of wood would be higher up on the cuckoo bellow that way you get the coo coo which is a um, higher pitch sound so, putting the pieces of wood together um, I can actually glue this wood back together and put this piece of wood here on. I believe that is called the reeve. Um, don't quote me on that. And then I could... Uh, add the uh, the rest of this and I could actually make this bellow work again but I was wanting to show y'all how a bellow is made and how it's designed again this piece of wood has to be positioned just right or you're not going to get any uh, noise um, the more holes you put in this the more holes that goes in this chamber so you're going to change the 
the the sound of that bellow. So that's why I always tell you to uh, when you're putting the bellow back in the case, there's typically a nail hole and a screw hole. Line those two holes back up, or you're going to change the position. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, you're going to change the uh, the sound of the bellow. So again, the bellow air goes through here. It goes around that piece of wood. It goes into the chamber, and then it's forced back out to get you that noise. I hope this video helps. Uh, one more thing I want to uh, discuss is make make sure that your bellow is glued down all the way around it you know like I said I can re-glue this piece of wood and I can make this bellow complete again so uh, if your if your bellow is um, is not working properly make first thing I would check is to make sure that it's glued down all the way all the way around all these sides that's the first thing I would check and then if this piece of wood right here is loose I would reposition it until you get sound with me covering this hole up you're not getting any sound when I put my thumb over the screw hole listen to it you get a slight different sound so uh, I hope this video excited you I hope that um, answers your question on how a bellow is made please subscribe to my youtube channel god bless